Good morning guys, how are we all? True Magoo FM here and I hope you had a good weekend. I know I did, it was the international break, England won 5 0 and I had a little chat with one of the Andorra players over on Twitter. But now I'm back, I'm ready for your Monday morning fix of the Eagle Shall Saw and I've got episode 4 here for you today. Now before we get into it, I know I said I'll be back with a double header of games, but again when I edited the video for release, it was longer than I'd liked and far too long to be released. So, being new to YouTube, I've made a decision. Until I get up to speed with things, get used to what I'm doing, we're going to change the format, so going forward we're going to have one game per episode. Now I need you to do a little something for me guys, so if you can please, and that's like, comment, share, subscribe, and just gives us content creators that little helping hand to get our content out to more viewers. So now that's all that out of the way, let's get this week underway and go and find out who we face in this episode. We're back at Selhurst Park now. January's been and gone. Our form is still very inconsistent, which sees us sitting 13th in the league table. But in today's episode, we're going to run through all of our business in a recent transfer window. We're going to review our results in the cup competitions, review our results in the league, before we head out on the road to Turf Moor to take on Sean Dyche's Burnley side. So if that sounds good to you guys, let's not hang about. Let's get started with our January transfer business here at Crystal Palace. So a quiet window for us saw more players leaving the club than joining the club. So that's where we'll start with the outgoings. And in December, just before the window opened, Joel Ward jetted off to the United Arab Emirates to join Al Ain for £2 million. James MacArthur then went to China for £3.6 million joining Shenzhen. Scott Dan headed off to South Korea to join Jeanbuck Hyundai Motors for £550,000. Jordan Ayew also went to South Korea to join Olsen and Hyundai for £7 million, could rise to 7.75. We sent Mads Rarislev on loan to Swansea for the rest of the season to gain some first team experience, ready to fight for his place in the side next season. Sean Robinson, a player from our under-23s, he went off to Coventry. And Nathaniel Klein, a £1.2 million offer coming from Forest. He's out of contract in the summer, I'm not renewing it, so off he went. Coming into the club, Liverpool youngster Curtis Jones joins us on loan for the rest of the season to add some depth in attack. And young Philippe Bundegaard from Randers FC joins for 800,000 up front, could rise to 2.2 million. He's a Danish youngster, he's 16 years old. As I know straight away you can see his physicals need work, but he's going to be playing the number 10 role for us. And you look at these attributes. 14 dribbling, 13 first touch, 15 passing, 15 technique, 13 vision, 14 flair, off the ball 14, decisions 14. So if we can get them physicals up, he's 16, loads of room to develop, he's going to be a real gem and a bargain at 2 million possible fee. So that's enough for, for the transfers, let's go and review our results in the cup competitions. So you might remember from a previous episode, we exited the Carabao Cup at the first hurdle. We went away to Reading. We didn't play well. We drew 0-0. They won on a, a dramatic penalty shootout 8-7. In the FA Cup, third round, we entered the competition. We drew Kingsley at home. I played the youth. We drew one all, but we beat them on penalties. Ricky J. Jones getting our goal. We then drew Lincoln City again at home. I played some youth this time, but to get the job done, I put some experienced heads in there as well. Again, Ricky J. Jones this time getting a brace. Christian Benteke adding a third before Gabriel Menino rounded off a 4-2 win. That brings us to the fifth round. Again at home, the FA Cup draw has been kind to us this season. We face Norwich. Hopefully we can get past that and make our way into the latter stages of the competition. The league now, and you last saw us earn a hard-earned one draw at Chelsea. That game actually kicked off a really tough run of games for us. We faced Man City at the Etihad. We lost 4-1, Michy Batshuayi getting our goal. We then welcomed Liverpool to Selhurst Park, and Jean-Philippe Mateta hit two goals in the first 15 minutes to give us a spectacular 2-1 victory over Liverpool. We then faced Arsenal at home and lost 3-0. So we faced four of the 
biggest six clubs in the country. Possible 12 points, come away with four. I'm happy with that. We then went to Newcastle and Adam Armstrong scored in the second minute. Gary Cahill and Ricky J. Jones sealed the win in the 88th minute, a 3-2 victory. We then played Brighton in the derby. Luka Mihailovic penalty and Jean-Philippe Mateta again with a late winner in the 92nd minute to win that for us. We then played Southampton at St Mary's. We were poor, 2-0 down at half-time, lost the game 3-0. Leicester were up next at home game. We didn't play bad. Jamie Vardy scored the only goal of the game. We lost 1-0. Then drew 0-0 against Wolves at Molyneux before we headed to... West Brom to see out the year, a game in which we dominated and were unlucky to lose 1 0. We started 2021 at home to Everton and we started it perfectly. Batashwai putting us in a second minute lead, but Alex Awobi was to equalise, won all that game finished. We then head off to Craven Cottage, Adam Armstrong scoring the only goal of a 1 0 victory for us. We then went off to Old Trafford. A game we played exceptionally well, but it wasn't to be. Cavani stepped up with a last minute winner. United won 1 0. We then visited the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and they absolutely destroyed us 4 0. We played Leeds at home and we drew 2 all. Adam Armstrong with our goal, opening goal, sorry, Luka Mihailovic with our second. We then played West Ham. Ebre Eze scoring our goal. We lost 2-1. And that brings us to today's game against Burnley. So let's go see our starting eleven. Today's lineup for the game at Turf Moor is in goal. Vincent Gaeta. Making up your back four is Patrick Van Aanholt, Gary Cahill, Nathan Ferguson and Gabriel Menino. In central midfield, Jairo Riderworld, Luka Mihailovic. On the left wing, it's Ricky J. Jones. On the right wing, Wilfred Zaha. And in attacking midfield, Adam Armstrong. Up top, it's Michy Batshuayi. On the bench, we have Wayne Hennessy, Mamadou Saku, Tyrick Mitchell, Martin Kelly, Shoiko Kiete, Ebre Ezi, Curtis Jones, Andros Townsend, and Jean-Philippe Mateta. Now I'm off to give the team talk See if we can get a win in a game we really need three points. And I'll see you in the dugout. So we're at Turf Moor now as Burnley get us underway. Gary Cahill clears. So this is a game we really need to win. Burnley sit in the bottom three. So we should be winning it. We sit in that awkward position, you know. Your form picks up great, you're fighting for European places. But if it doesn't and it drops, you're in a relegation dogfight. And that's not where I want to be. So nothing happening early on here. I've shown some encouragement to the boys. Hopefully we can go out and do a job here. Get further towards that top end of the table. Further away from the relegation zone. And turn our inconsistent form around. I mean, we've... Win, draw, lose, lose, win, draw, lose, lose. It'd be nice to get a run of results. Coming into the back end of the season. Cement our place in the Premier League for next year. So 18 minutes in, still nothing happening. Nothing to really report. Burnley have had one shot. We've had none. We've had most of the possession. So we're going to demand more. Oh, we've got a throw in here. That's why. Is that a penalty? He's checking VAR, we won't send a shout just yet. Will we get the decision? They're checking it. And it's a penalty to Crystal Palace. Is it Luka Mihailovic, our usual penalty taker, our steps up? And he puts us 1-0 up. Great, great penalty. Hard and low into the bottom corner. Past the stretching keeper. 1-0 Palace, now we shout and we'll fire them up. To Burnley with the corner now. It's gone wide, the head has gone wide, thankfully. So we have the lead in a... In what I'm classing as an important game. You know, these are the games we should be picking points up. 
the teams that are expected to be down there with us. Burnley have a throw in now. It's into the arms of Goita. He, he picks up the cross, plays it long to Armstrong. Mihailovic, Ricky J. Jones now. Van Arnholt, can he get the ball into the box? He can, but it's headed away to Menino. Armstrong, Zaha, Menino, but that's why he's shot blocked. Now Goodmanson breaks down the left-hand side for Burnley, but he's dispossessed. It's away for a Burnley corner. So McNeil to take a hit. But it's headed away. Batshuayi gets there first. He can run, but he's fouled on halfway. That's the end of that highlight. So yeah, we're playing quite well. Been the better team. I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. We've been throwing away leads in most of our games so far this season. That's something I really want to work on going towards the end of the season. And further forward. 39 minutes now. Let's demand more for the end of the first half. Players are fairing up quite well. Zaha looks a little bit tired. But should be okay to go for a bit longer. Now we have a free kick deep. Van Arnhol, Armstrong, Riderworld, Armstrong, Mihailovic, and we're dispossessed. It's McNeil now. Goodmanson. Brownhill, Taylor, McNeil, Barnes to Taylor, Goodmanson in and Greater saves. That was a scare at the end of the first half there. But we make half time, it's 1 0 to us. I'm going to give my team talk, see if we can go out in the second half and get that second. I'll see you then. So we get the second half underway now, and it's Ryder World to Ferguson. But it's a short highlight at the beginning of the second half. So this, as it stands, we don't move up anywhere, but we go within a point of Everton above us in 12th position if we can keep hold of this lead. Started the second half, but the team again by looks for it. Still more possession, a couple more shots. Jay Jones looking a bit tired now, as is Ryder World. The rest seem okay for the minute. Still not a great deal to report in the second half. It's going to be one of them close games. Burnley have the throw now. Then me. But it's cut out. Batshuayi to Ricky J. Jones. Mihailovic to Zaha. Menino picks the ball up. Zaha crosses. And Cleared Ryder World. Ferguson to Mihailovic. Plays in Zaha. Oh, off the post. Off the post. Oh, I could have settled it then. Hour in. Burnley have a goal kick. Plays it long to Goodmanson. But Cahill clears to Ricky J. Jones. Inside to Armstrong. Gets dispossessed on the edge of the box. Ferguson now picks out to Van Arnholt. Plays ball to Batshuayi. 2 0. Great goal. Would you look at that? Van Arnholt with the great assist there. Look at that ball over the top from the halfway. That's why he hits it on the volley first time. 2 0 Palace. We're going to fire the lads up. Can't moan at this performance. We've been brilliant. 63 minutes in now. And it's time to go make some substitutions. So on comes Kiati for Ryder World and Evere Eze for Adam Armstrong as Batshuayi picks up the ball and half time, half halfway. Batshuayi, oh, just wide, just wide. We're the better team here. The points should be ours. We've got a deep free kick now. Smith on the left. But Van Arnholt nicks it off him, but he's dispossessed again. Takiri shoots, saved by Goita. Come on, let's see this out, boys. Let's see this out. It's been a brilliant result. 73 minutes in now. And it's 2 0. We're going to demand more for the final 15 minutes or so. Boys are looking tired now. 
Ricky J. Jones is absolutely shattered, so we're going to bring Curtis Jones on to replace him. We're going to pump his fist, get out there and make a difference, son. Come back now and burn the other corner, do they? Nope, the Burnley fans are leaving early, they've had enough. Eight, three minutes, seven minutes to go till the victory is ours. Nice to keep the clean sheet to boot. I'm gonna praise the lads, they've been good today. Everybody with the throw. Oh, great tackle there to win the ball back. Kurt Jones, 3 0. Game set and match. Guys, has been our best performance of the season so far, this has. Look at the tackle there by Van Aanholt to keep the move alive. Lovely little interchange there between Jones and Batashwai and Jones slots home comfortably. 3-0 Palace. And wow, what a game. What a performance. Oh, it's 4-0 Batashwai. Is that his hat-trick? I think that's his hat trick. It's a tap in. We struck twice in a couple of minutes. No, it's not his hat trick, it's his second. But still, what a performance. For what is our first win on the channel. And oh, it is nearly five. Oof, we've been sensational. Absolutely sensational. Oh, you can't beat. Can't beat a performance like this. To start a Monday morning. Alright, oh, it's gonna be a good week. And that's why he's in again. Oh it's five. He's got his hat trick this time. It's gonna be a very good week. A very good week indeed. Look at that ball from Menino. Our long ball play today has been spectacular. And the finish from Batashwai to take home the match ball. And cap off a fantastic performance here. We've got to fire him up. Taylor now. Ben me. Oh no, Ahmed Musa, sorry. Stevens. Brownhill to Stevens. To Musa. And that's it. Game over. Burnley nil. Crystal Palace five. The first win on our channel. Great performance. I'm going to tell him to go out and celebrate tonight. And we shall see you after the game to discuss where we'll come back for episode 5. God, I am ecstatic with that one. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Wow, guys, what a performance. Five goals, clean sheet and some fluid, entertaining football. I couldn't be more happier with my team if I tried. So all that leaves me to do is let you know when we'll be back for episode 5 and it'll be the last game of the season as we invite Bruno Fernandes and co to what we hope to be the Crystal Palace end of season party. Until then, if you could kindly like, comment, share, subscribe and help me get these videos out to more viewers, I'd greatly appreciate it. Until then guys, I'll see you for the Man United game real soon. Take care now.